Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So it is Christmas right now, and I don't know if I'll still be able to say that by the time this video comes out, but I have some, I have a lot of stuff to go through, just a, a lot of videos planned, and let me just, here, let me just say this. I don't have a lot of unboxings, it's more of showcases, purely because I was trying to open it and get it out the way. Now, here's why. If I had a bunch of the boxes, I wouldn't have been able to get it out as quick as I want to. Because I want to try and bring you guys the news and some products as fast as I can. So I am going to try and give you my best description of it. But if I, but you are going to probably miss the unboxing. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the first video. Okay, so for the first thing, I have now officially completed... Beyblade Burst Turbo, by that I mean I have every Beyblade Burst Turbo 2-pack in Beyblade. So, if you didn't know, before before Christmas, I had, I didn't ha I was missing Fafnir, I was missing Ruder, I was missing um, Dread Hades, Marigna, and Enguard. But, with some Christmas money and stuff, I bought it, I bought it super fast, and yeah. So let's go over that. So this is Enguard Quest, or I mean Outer and Quest. Um, Quest is not a suction cup. It has a regular mode, which is supposed to be battering mode, and then it has this mode where it's free spinning. And I like I'm gonna keep it free spinning because then it's kind of in the center. It's a defense type, but it's more of an attack type. Here is Marigna, pretty good Hasbro exclusive. I really like the way they're making them now. And I really like the color scheme. This is Ruder. Um, I don't. I personally don't really like the Hasbro exclusive, but the color scheme is kind of nice. Here is Fafnir F4. Um, it. I've seen some people who are saying how bad it is. It is pretty loose, but mine isn't as bad as I've been hearing it. And it can still kind of drain spin. Not that well, but kind of. If you're looking for a frame that can kind of work as proof, the frame I would suggest using, and I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I got the I got the Champion Clash or the thing. I would take the frame off Air Knight because it's kind of circular. If you want to kind of do that, you can take the frame off Air Knight and then add that in. And it's a light bluish color, but yeah, so you can do that to give it the proof frame. Kind of helps it. It's up to you. And the last Beyblade here is Dread Hades. Dread Hades is just a regular Beyblade. It has metal, which is good. It has metal on these two sides. Um, 11 turn. Turn is frame. Can be, is reversible, so I can flip it over and I have that. And I like the reversible frame idea. Wish they would have done more of it. Because it is pretty cool. It's like another level of customization. And then we have Zephyr. So, I am going to be doing, like I did the all of Godlayer, I'm going to be doing it all of Turbo, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently, and you'll see how it is. All right, so the way we're going to do it is we're going to have a tournament set up. So, it's not going to be every single Beyblade in Turbo, but it's gonna be the majority of them. So here's who I took out. Like, I have Turbo Valtrek, so I took out Wonder Valtrek. I took out Achilles. And then I took out Dread Phoenix because I'm using Hades. And Hades wouldn't be here if Dread Phoenix was here. So, this or this, in the show's timeline, makes sense. So now for the bracket, we're gonna have. Um, okay. We're gonna have, apparently, Phoenix versus Fafnir we're gonna have okay we're gonna have Rock Devore versus Eclipse well Ether I guess Ether we're gonna have let's see who else oh Turbo Achilles versus Enguard so A5 versus E4 we're gonna have um, Leopard versus Valtrek so we're gonna have V5 versus 
L4. Only a couple left. We're gonna have X4 versus F4. But this one's gonna be Fornius. So X4 versus Fornius. And then we're gonna have, let's see, who else? Who else do we need? Uh, let's do these. We have Salamander. So we have S5 and S4. It's pretty cool. And then we have, okay, then we have Hades versus Air Knight. So we have H4 versus K4. And then we have Hercules versus Crabase. So we also have H4 versus K4. So yeah, well, with that, let's get on to the bar. All right, so um, I don't currently have a string launcher on me and I probably should. But I don't. So I'm gonna be using a ripcord. So first up we have who was it? First up was Phoenix versus Fafnir. So this is gonna be a good match. It is gonna be a first to two like I usually do. But yeah. Also I'm gonna be hinting at what my next video is gonna be throughout this video. So yeah. Let it let it rip. There is Fafnir, and here is Phoenix. All right, all right. Now, here's what I'm saying. A lot of people say that the Fafnir Beyblade sucks, and it is complete garbage, but it's not. Is it probably going to lose this battle? Yes. But do I think it's still a good Beyblade? Yes. I would still pick up the Fafnir. Because it's still... Although it did... Oh, it's probably going to lose... It's still a good enough Beyblade that I would get it. And the reason being, it can still kind of drain spin. Not as well as it would with rubber. And definitely not as well because I added the random lines on the Beyblade. But it can still drain spin. That That's not gone. It just can't do it very well. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only difference. Um, I don't know if this video is going to be able to have comments. But if it can, then comment down below what you think the, the hidden bit is. And let's see. Ooh, I don't I have no idea who that was. I think that might have been Phoenix. So we're gonna say that. Right, next up is Rocktivore versus Ether. So for Ether, we're just gonna take Hades combo. And we're just gonna stick it on to Ether. There we go. So yeah. Um, I think the person that has a good shot at winning this is probably gonna be Hades. I think Hades has a shot at it because he has metal and metal is really useful. And okay, so Ether obviously won that. That was no question about that. Really fast battle. I'm really hoping that Ether doesn't have to battle Hades at any point because if he does then we're, we're gonna run into a little bit of trouble because I haven't planned for that and I only really have... I only get one of each Beyblade so, like, I don't have spare Hades combos just lying around. So, if we need it, then we're going to be in a problem. So, Ether is moving on. Next up is Achilles versus Enguard. So, Enguard, he's labeled as a defense type, but he's not a defense type. He is a huge attack type. And his slopes are really bad. Look, so that's him in free spinning mode. So, this end guard is like the mod video I made a while back of the Unicrest Beyblade and the Rock Devour plate flipped upside down. I was pretty much on the dot about how end guard would turn out. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I managed to get that close. But let's see, will end guard survive? End guard got the first point. Now it's time for the fun round where end guard loses drastically. And yep, goodbye. So Achilles will be taking that one. Now that's that. As much as I wanted Enguard to be a good release, the, the, if Enguard had better slopes, this Beyblade would be really good. Then again, if this Beyblade had better slopes, it would probably be too good. But hey, I like it. I just wish it was better. Okay, next up is Valtrek and Leopard. Then we have finished round one of bracket B. So yeah, 
we're gonna start off by launching in Leopard first, and then we'll launch in Valve Strike. Well, then we'll launch in whoever wins. All right. There is Leopard, and here is Valve Strike. Ooh, dang. That's fast. All right. Looks like Valve Strike wants to be launched in first this round. So we will do that right now. Here we go. Right, right. You know, I really like doing battles with two attack types. Oh, wow. Wow, he got through the burst offer. I really like doing battles with two attack types. But when you're by yourself, those battles are really hard to do. So, like, why? <laughs> All right. So, Leopard is... No, Leopard stays in. Valtrax eliminated. Um, L4 moves on. All right, that was bracket. Okay, we're now on to... Bracket B, first match is Excalius versus Fornius, who I just accidentally bursted. Now I am back to using the regular Fornius for a while, and I don't know if I even used him in the videos, but for a while, I used the Riptide Fornius earlier, or I mean, I used the Riptide Fornius like forever, purely because the color scheme was very fitting and had better slopes. But if that was the case, then I should be using like a different Air Knight. Or like a different Valtrek or from Valtrek. I should be using the other Fafnir, but... Alright. There is Fornius, who is currently winning. There is Excalius, who I thought would actually, like, destroy Fornius. So far, Fornius is really holding on to his points. And Fornius will be moving on. I did, I did not expect that. We are having a lot of, like, wild cards coming in. Not wild cards, more like, um, more like, how do I put this? Uh, oh, next up is Surprise and Versus Elevator. It's not wild cards, it's more of, hmm, unexpected wins. Like, I expected Excalius to just burst his way through that battle, but nope. Apparently not, and here's Salamander. Salamander has a really cool idea. Salamander's idea is really awesome, and I would have loved to see the Beyblade bounce super high for no absolute reason other than that's the gimmick. But sadly, we didn't get that. We got a Beyblade that's just completely unstable and bounces like three inches off the ground. But hey, they did their best, so we can't really blame them. I mean, it is kind of harder to make Beyblades. At least I assume it is. You have to think of like logistics and everything. All right, next up is Hades versus Air Knight. I think Air Knight is going to lose because I think Hades can pack a strong enough punch. But I may be wrong because I am wrong quite often. Okay. Oh, that round will not count because Hades landed directly on top of Air Knight. And I find those rounds extremely unfair. Because if I launch one Beyblade in first, it's unfair to the other to just land on it. Alright. I mean, Aaron I got destroyed anyway, but beside the point. So Hades gets to go in now first. No. I actually really like the Hades Beyblade. And I wish that they. I wish that he came out earlier. That way I could have used him earlier. Alright, so Hades was launched in first, so. Let's see if Hades can still win. And yeah, Hades won that. So, next up is Hercules and Kravis. So there is Hercules. And here is Kravis. Who just launched himself out of the stadium for no absolute reason. That is not a point to Hercules, but that will allow Hercules to be launched in a second. Alright. So Hades won that one. So the winner the winner of this match will go up against Hades. And I feel like both of them stand a decent chance. Well I feel like Hercules probably stands a better chance against Hades. I may be wrong, but I think I think Hercules stands Ooh, wait a minute. Oh wow. Great, wasn't it? I think Hercules is a little bit stronger. 
than Corvaeus, but Corvaeus did just win that, so I could be wrong. Alright, this is getting intense here. Alright, I'm actually excited to figure out who wins this one. So, while that's working on, I'm going to start getting the bracket together. The next bracket. So, let me work on that. What's that? And no, I'm not making the bracket, I'm just putting the people together for the bracket. And that was Hercules, so it's going to be down to a tiebreaker round. So, there's Hercules. Why do they like to jump out the stadium so much? Just, why? <laughs> Something about Beyblades, I've always wanted to know. Why is it that they always do the most random things? Why, why is that? <laughs> like, they're meant to battle, but there are some days where I feel like they're not even battling. Alright, there's your base. So this is the tiebreaker. And then we move on to the quarterfinals, I think? Yeah. Let's see. And Kerbeus will be moving on, leaving Hercules alone. So this is the bracket, if you can read my handwriting. Quarterfinals up. First person, we have Ether versus Phi. And I don't know who's going to win this one. I think Phi is going to win it, but I feel like Ether also has a pretty decent chance of winning it. Let it rip. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, some good hits. Good hits. Now, I think I think Phi's gonna win because of stamina. Or Phoenix is gonna win. Yeah. I think it's gonna come down to stamina this time. And when it's down to stamina, defense, or stamina types are gonna most likely win over balance types. And attack types. Ooh. Alright. Let's see this. Let's see this. Who is going to take it? I think that Phoenix is going to take it again. And there goes the armor. And the win goes to Phoenix. You know, it would be so cool if Phoenix ends up going up against Hades in the finals. That would be... I would, like, be so happy just because that would be so epic. And I kind of lost the Hades there. No, I found it. Okay. Alright. So, Phi is moving on. So, Phi is in the semifinals. Next up is Achilles versus Leopard. And I think Leopard is going to win. Not because he's better, but because Achilles has no stamina whatsoever. And if Leopard's going to go in second, Leopard's going to win. Unless that happens. So, Leopard is probably gonna win and then when leopard goes in first he might lose all right that works apparently leopard just really wants to win today at least that's what he's doing you know leopard versus phoenix will be an interesting battle in the finals because apparently leopard is sweeping everyone away and winning more than anyone thought they would okay next up we have Fornius versus Verizon, which is going to be an interesting battle. Like, I'm genuinely excited for this battle. I'm more excited for Hades and Kerbeus. So I thought Hercules was going to win for sure, so maybe it's just, like, no attack power or something, but and I think Verizon is going to take this one by definite. I, s I said by definite. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. Let's see. And the point goes to Sporizen, but a lot closer than I wanted to cut it. So let's see how it goes now. Where's Sporizen? And here is Fornius. I put Sporizen in his stamina mode instead of his attack mode. I would have put him in defense mode, but they took, up, they took away the defense mode. And I think I already said this, but why did they take away the defense mode on Sporizen? Instead of making the attack mode, this is slingshot mode. Like, wouldn't it have just made more sense to do that? <laughs> then you're still getting all three types. Alright, let's see, let's see. And Sporizen will be moving on to the finals. 
to the semifinals. So let's see, S5. Next up is Hades versus Curbeus. This is another one I'm actually excited for. Alright, so there is Curbeus. And here is Hades. I think I like Hades purely because my favorite Disney villain is Hades, and the name just makes me think of it. Also, the design on Hades is just really good. Alright, so we are now down to the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals time. It is Phoenix versus Leopard. And honestly, I think Phoenix might get destroyed right now. Because Leopard has brought his A game. Wow, Leopard is bringing the A game. He's having no mercy. There goes my dream of having Fi and Hyde in the finals, so <laughs> Leopard's moving on to the finals. I think after he burst a Turbo Achilles, we, we knew that. Alright, next up, we have Hades versus Turbo Sporizen, and I'm hoping for Hades, but I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere with that. <laughs> Right, Hades. Just take it out. I don't even know if you landed on him or what, but let's try it again. All right, Hades, just burst Turbo Sprite the hardest person to burst. No, no big deal. Or at least ring him out, because you have metal and he doesn't, so he should be decent. Decent. All right. You know, I think Hades might actually win this purely because of what I was just saying about the metal. Because Turbo Sprizen has no metal, he's at a huge weight disadvantage compared to Hades. Which is weird. I thought if they didn't I thought since they didn't give anyone else metal, they wouldn't give Hades metal, but apparently Hades has a metal. Alright, and yeah. So the final are Leopard and Hades. I honestly have no clue on who I think is gonna win this. Let's see. Leopard or Hades? What team are you? Are you Team Leopard? Or are you Team Hades? Because I am Team Hades. But I think Leopard's gonna win. Realistically speaking. Let's see. And Hades with the first point. Ooh. Leopard coming up strong with the destroy plate. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really interesting. And the point goes to Leopard, meaning Leopard will be sent in first for the final round. She's actually gonna put him at a huge disadvantage. But then again, if he lost that round, then Hades would have won, so Leopard needs to pull in a win. Otherwise, the tournament goes to Hades. And the winner of the Turbo Tournament is none other than Dread Hades. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if you can comment, but if you can, please do. For those of you that are wondering what the hint was for this video, I am currently using the Beyblade Burst Rise Hypersphere launchers. Keep that in mind. See you all later. Have a great day. Bye.